In the last episode of the Hardcore Wrath Solo Dungeon Challenge, we conquered the Dead Mines by taking down Edwin Van Cleef. Today's journey brings us into the Wailing Caverns. So after running around Barrens and picking up all my quests, we were then ready to take on the next big dungeon in this solo challenge. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, please make sure to check if you've subscribed, because it really helps out the channel a lot. Okay. Um, I do want to pick up a bunch of herbs and stuff like that along the way, but more than a man, a tears to the talk. Okay, sorry, I'm just, uh, I had to make sure stuff is working in my brain. Well, what we need, guys, is we need real fast to go to the inscription trainer. Inscription, that's over here. Uh, I'm gonna buy some light, light parchment, because we might need some of this for some stuff, and then we'll be good. Let's go to Ratchet, guys. Let's pick up the quest here, and let's also put our heartstone to Ratchet, guys. Innkeeper Willy. And now we are going to Crossroads. All right, let's talk to this guy here. Um, all right, so now we are going to be heading up towards the big mountain, guys. Because in the mountain, we will live and we will prosper. There is two more quests to pick up before we are fully ready to take on the dangers that is Wailing Caverns. Will our hero manage to survive today? Who knows? But what I do know for sure, guys, is that we're gonna be absolutely blasting and we will not be dying to a snake like we did last time. We are gonna pop off and it is gonna be the greatest venture of all time. And you guys are all here to witness it. Deviate Heights. This quest is gonna give us a back, so that's good as well. All right, it's time to go to the dungeon, guys. There should be a goblin right here. Any goblins in the chat? There he is. The Mad Maglish. So this guy's gonna go down just like that. And that's gonna be our first quest done. Now we will continue into the dungeon. We are back indeed. Hey, sir, give me a buff. Thank you, sir. We are a lot more prepared this time. We have a lot better gear. And everything should be fine. Okay, there's the two mobs coming here. That's fine. We actually have Pursuit of Justice, so we can kite very, very far as well. Today's gonna be good, guys. Today's gonna be very, very, very good. So these guardians, they yell for help. Like, when they're just about to die, they start screaming. Help! Help! So we've gotta keep that in mind. Uh, we gotta figure out where... Okay, she's not over there. First boss is... Uh... You know what I mean? We actually could... Wait, I see Crash down there. You guys see him? Maybe we should do Crash first. Yeah, because, dude, I'm wondering, maybe using Thieves' Blade together with the... If we can get the blue Crash Shield, that might actually be the way. Hey, Crash, come here. Come here. Okay. Let's kill Crash first. Okay, so we pray for shield. Guys, we pray for shield. Wait, why am I going... This is a boss. What am I doing? I'm just going in like this. Shield would really be good here, man. Please. Because, like, look at my armor. We go from, okay, 27.27 reduction. Okay, 10% more. And then this is 41%. I think it might be the way, guys. All right, let's do it. Lady Anaconda. I think I might pull that guardian too. But that's fine. Oh, actually, I'm doing solo. Okay. Hey, Guzu. Off to Wailing Caverns solo. Sing Granny's no. got your back and your snacks. Licorice tea and cookies <laughs> loaded. Breaks, bro, don't forget him. Show those pixels who's boss. Thanks, man. Grandma's betting on you. Thanks, Kiddo, Grandma. Like a lot of money. Thanks, Grandma. Appreciate that. I'm gonna try my very best, okay? Dude. Oh, what? Oh, that's actually huge. What? This is where I died. Right here. This is right where I died last time. Because I pulled a buttload of mobs and I got overconfident and then rip. But we have learned. We have learned and we have gotten better. So that's good. Oh my god, look at these double snakes, man. Fudgeball. Sorry for the language, guys. God. Okay. Hodge. Okay, remove that. He should start fleeing soon. Ah! <sighs> that would have been pretty bad. Here goes Lord Cobran. Drop your pants for me. Well, what the hell, what? <laughs> 
Okay, consecration. We gotta kill all the snakes first. This one, I will do like that. We actually are so tangy, man. Just done that. He's gonna turn into a snake, though, and go sicko mode. I'm actually gonna heal here, heal here. Yeah, there's a the sicko mode. Dude, this guy is easy. I'm consecrationing. I'm just doing big damage here. Yeah, we're fine. Yep. Drop your pants now. Ah, oh, that's not your pants, man. <sighs> when you stun a target, it loses... Fudge ball. This is really bad, actually. I can't hard. She's gonna heal like a... Oh, now they're gonna perma-heal, aren't they? It's fine. It's fine. Checking for slimes. Slime there. We're good. We're good. It can really fast go south, though, man. Oh, we dinged! Hey! Okay, nice, 24. Holy crap, man. All right, we're still, we're working our way into um, destruction now. Protection. Um, so let's get some strength, some more strength here. Look at that. All right, so I think it's boss time. I think boss pulls with this guy here. Yeah, let's try. All right, it doesn't. Okay, so I can just solo this guy. That's fine. Lord Pythas. Actually, maybe I should focus the ad first. Yeah. Okay, we do not have an arcane torrent. Oh my god. I'll actually pop divine protection here together with... One of these. Just do as much damage as we can. Kick the heal. Okay, we can freedom that. Because it also reduces our attack damage. And now we're both healing. Okay, that's fine, I guess. My mana is very low. But the good... Okay, I'm actually doing a lot of damage. And that's what we want for Verdon as well. Yeah, I'm even consecrationing uh, for like massive more DPS per second here, right? Okay, so far bosses are going down pretty hard. And I'm happy about that. Oof. There we go. What do we get? Armor of the Fang. Not worth it. I don't think so. We lose stamina and we lose agility. I will away. It's actually okay. Maybe we do a little heal here just in case. Gonna heal now. Uh, I'll just let him heal. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. All right, scum time. Scum actually has a lot of heal. This is an easy fight, but I just want to test my damage. So we go in like this. We pop that, and we consecrate, right? And we just do as much damage as we can. So we do 71 DPS per second at the moment. And again, this guy doesn't hit very hard, but Mutanus hits very hard. Get into the point now where we're actually like kind of juicing it up, guys. Ah. Come back, you little slimer. There we go. What do we get? My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. One minute it took me to take him down, and he had like 3 point something K health P. All right, just note that down in your notebook, guys, because we're going to need that information for next boss. How much does he have? That's doable. I think so. We got to kill Serpentis first, and then these mobs here, and then there's also, there should also be like a little mob as well. We can do this. I'm scared, but I'm very prepared. I'm scared, but prepared. All right, I'm actually gonna pop my uh, Golden Mist Special Brew here, chat. And I'm gonna pop my... We already have that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna Kings. All right, let's kill Serpentis real fast. Okay, we're gonna kill the Venoming as well. I'm not even gonna use any cooldowns here. Except Hodge. No cooldowns will be used except Hodge. Okay, maybe I should actually... Uh... Should we use should we use a cooldown here? Just give me a moment, guys. Give me a moment. It's a tactical retreat for uh, for cooldown usage. Because I, I want to save lifeblood and stuff for the big boy, right? We have a heal in uh, two seconds here. There we go. And now we're ready to keep pumping. Maybe we actually put the shield on now. Just put the shield on. Hey, can you stop healing, bro? It's not cool. Seriously. E. Am I really gonna have to? I'm gonna lifeblood. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna get. Wait, I lifeblooded. Where's my healing? Wait, it doesn't heal as much anymore, man. 
Are you insane? Why is this guy so hard? <sighs> Venom strike. Holy crap. If I was a hunter, that'd be insane, but I'm not. Oh, actually an upgrade though. Wait. Yo. Damn. Uh, we gotta wait for our cooldowns, guys. We gotta wait for lifeblood. I don't know what to expect. He might be immune to stun. All right, let's go, guys. Okay, how hard does he hit? Okay, 200. Okay, popping now. Early on, just early on, early on. As much damage as possible. Lifeblood now. Hodge? Uh-oh. Sticky glue? Uh-oh. Wait, I have to run. I, I I can't live this. I can't live this. I'm gonna die. I, I I will die. He's immune. I have to jump. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. If I don't do it now, uh, I'm doing Murloc. And then this guy will just win, I guess. This guy will just take a W. Perry? Oh, that's a big damage right there. Grasping Vines. Does that actually do damage? No, dude, no. I'm gonna go Oom. Healing Touch. Now I'm Oom. Now I'm full on Oom. I have to jump. I have to jump. No. <sighs> lay on hands. I can't, guys. Forbearance. For with Forbearance, you cannot lay on hands. And not in Wrath. Okay, well, let's try. Let's try. Getting good dodges, good parries. Ooh, good parry? What the hell? Wait, dodge? 50%? The god RNG? Free heal into the attack, yes. 40 seconds. Now he's starting to pummel me though. 18 seconds. I can't, I'm sorry, dude, I can't, no, dude. I had the best, R dude, I can't, I'm sorry, I was gonna die. No, 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 I was gonna die. Bro, that was gonna be death. No, that, dude, I can't. I had the best RNG. Fuck, man. Pot, pot was used, guys. You can only one pot. Wisdom? Yeah, but I got so much healing out of the... Look, Judgment of Light is 700 healing, guys. That was... Dude, I got... I was really greedy there, too. I stayed in. I waited for Lay on Hands. I Lay on Hands as well. I, I was gonna die there. 100% chat. Let's do the Murloc. Maybe the Murloc is just gonna kill me. I think I really did a good attempt there, though, chat. I tried three times. Like, I had very, very good RNG on all the blocks, all the parries. I used both Divine Protection, I used Potion, I used Lifeblood, I used Lay on Hands, and I still couldn't kill him. It was, wow, it was so close. I will say though, the challenge is hard, guys. Like overall, this is not an easy challenge. And I like that. Oh no. I need to just drink here. Yeah, listen, you're gonna have to just tank a little bit. All right, I, I'm very sorry, but uh, it is what it is. Now I'm ready, okay. Oh, the feeling. Okay, let's not do... I actually do this. Dude, look at this, man. Compared to Verdun, Verdun just does so much more damage. Uh, yes, because I'm only one person, he, he does not sleep. So he does have a mechanic that, like, puts a target to sleep. Or, like, I think it's a mind control. Um, but he only does it if there's multiple people. And I'm just not taking damage, man. Like, what is this? You can even stun him. Look. God. I didn't even have to heal. I just used lifeblood. That's it. All right, let's see what we get. There's the achievement, though. There's the achievement. What do we get? Oh, that's nasty, man. That's nasty. That's so good. And the glowing shard for the shoulders. Should we check if he's up? Let's just check. Well, guys, it looks like we have completely annihilated and cleansed the entirety of Wailing Caverns, man. We got the achievement. Power takes down yet another dungeon, boys. And it's just that easy. And it's just that easy. I will say, guys, I did the very best I could. And tomorrow, we will be taking on 
Archmage Arugal, guys. Because that will be the next journey in the solo dungeon challenge.